Oh my gosh. I should take these off. I can't read. <laughs> it's too dark. <laughs> Bienvenue. Welcome back to that figure skating show. We officially have a new women's world champion and new medalists. And some of them aren't even in their teens. It's super duper exciting. In first place with the gold medal of Japan, it is Kaori Sakamoto with 236.09. In second place with the silver from Belgium, Luna Hendricks with 217.70. And rounding out your podium with the bronze medal from the United States of America, Alyssa Liu with 211.19. So the gold medalist from Japan, the first Japanese world champion in the women's event since Mao Asada in 2014, Kaori Sakamoto coming off of a bronze medal at the Olympics delivers yet again. She gave what it's supposed to give. She ate that power, finesse, quality. Yeah, okay. she absolutely killed it. From the beginning, her, her iconic power and flow, you were saying earlier, those blades don't even look regulation. Like how was she able to go as fast mm. as like a bobsledder? And jump after jump after jump is just like an e-transfer coming into your account. Like bam, 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 bam. She was unstoppable, hitting a 155 personal best in the free program. I love that uh, this good skating is being rewarded. Uh, and on top of that, she has the excellent technical firepower behind it. She may not have a triple action, she may not have quads, but her jumps are huge and just take up the whole ice, even like especially that first double axel. She literally is on the other side of the rink. By the time she lands it, she's right back in front of the judges. She is up there with one of the greats, Mawasada, uh, Suzuki Arakawa. Like it's just, yeah, nice. I'm rambling. And listen, <laughs> I get it. I get it. She and she looked ready to win. Like the she she the look on her face when she was standing by the boards waiting for her coach to slap her almost a little too hard in the back. I don't know, maybe maybe that's her thing, but I was like, "Wow, is she choking? What is happening right now?" But uh, the look on her face was just pure determination and she went out, she took her spot, and I just kind of had this feeling, yeah, she's going to do it. She knows she's going to do it. I know she's going to do it. I think everyone here knows she's going to do it. And she did it. And right before that monumentous uh, program, we had another skater lay it down. The skater from Belgium, Luna Hendricks, the first woman to win a world medal for Belgium and their first since 1947. <laughs> We're getting close to 100 years. <laughs> That's some time. <laughs> like, wow. Look, we've seen her skate well all year. She's had a meteoric rise. She's a full package skater. She's got artistry. She's got skating skills. Her jumps are high quality. She's quite consistent. She's got good spins. And um, this was above and beyond what we're used to seeing from her in terms of her commitment to the program. Uh, and you can see it at the end. She knew, like she delivered everything she had. And like most of the other girls in that last group who skated well, she broke down into tears and... Just the perfect cry face. It just the good, perfect cry face. With, cry face. Yeah. What an amazing season for her. First Grand Prix medal ever for her and now first world medal ever for her and her country in this discipline. Uh, congratulations, Luna. And in third, another wild story. Alyssa Liu, she's the youngest woman to ever win a U.S. national title at 12 years old. Uh, you know, she, she landed her triple axel. It's a jump that she's been playing hide and seek with. I think she finally found it. <laughs> it, did, it did have one downgrade, but um, it counts and it definitely awarded her some points. She skated great. I, we were talking about while we were watching her, we love her jumps. Everything looks so easy and clean and efficient. Um, 
And just the youthfulness, like, in her expression at the end, and they're like, oh, what do I do? Did I just win a medal? I don't know how to react right now. Her skating skills, uh, interpretation, performance, uh, and of course her transitions have improved dramatically mm. uh, under the tutelage of Massimo Scali, and of course choreographer, and former U.S. champion Jeremy Abbott. Uh, of course she has switched coaches uh, since uh, nationals in January, but you can still see the work that they have done taking this 12 year old U.S. national champion to a well-rounded skater at 16. And you know, her expression uh, in the, uh, I like to call it the, uh, the, survi the survivor couch. Mm. Uh, when she found out she was gonna get a medal after Mariah Bell's scores came up, she's just holding Young Yu's hand and just staring blankly, as I am right now. <laughs> yeah. <the> like <laughs> just flabbergasted. Um, yeah, girl, you got a world medal. That's it, that's the tea. <laughs> And of course, we have to throw a few shout outs as that last group was very strong. Mariah Bell just missing the podium behind Alyssa Liu. She didn't have a triple triple combo. She also didn't have a coach there with her. Just shy of the podium. I know that one's going to be tough to swallow. And also, Young Yu from Korea finishing just behind her in fifth. Skated well, had a couple little, a couple mistakes that cost her. Uh, potentially a world medal at the end, but this actually was only her first world championships, yeah. which is hard to believe. I had no idea. I was quite, I was quite, quite, quite shocked uh, by that. And lastly, Anastasia Gubanova of Georgia, who started the free program in 14th place, climbed up to six after a phenomenal and elegant free skate program. Congratulations to her. Laid it down. The lone Canadian woman here, Madeline Skeezis, was 10th heading into the free program. Starts off with a beautiful triple-triple combo, falls on the next jump, the triple flip, something that has been giving, been giving her trouble in the free program, happened at the Olympics in the individual as well. Um, two disappointing free skates back to back, but she does have a lot to be proud of this season. But just slipping out of that top 10 that Canada definitely wanted so they could send at least two women to the next world championship. And she only missed it by 0.36 of a point. That's gonna be real tough. Um, you know, she opened up on a triple sal, a jump that's usually pretty money for her. And that's, that's what did it. Um, Cause she was pretty good and clean on everything else after that point. But. The damage is already done, but like I said, lots to be proud of this season. Uh, excited to see what we see from Madeline as she continues into the next quadrennial. Let us know what you think. Do you agree with the podium? What was it like not having the Russians here? Write it down below, like y'all always do. Uh, it was a super exciting event, and we will see you for the last day of competition with the men and Ice Dance Recap. Hey guys, it's Asher and Dylan from That Figure Skating Show. And if you like this video, and don't lie, we know you did, there's actually more where that came from. So subscribe to CBC Sports and click it. Click, click, click it, it real good. good. Da, na, 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 na.